daily shout outs. Congratulations, guys! If you guys want a chance to win a shout out on my next video, just leave a nice comment down below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like. And check out listingnoel.com for the merch. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, in my last videos, I only ate pink food and blue food for 24 hours. But, guys, by high demand, a lot of you guys wanted me to do red food only for 24 hours. So, today, guys, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe button and put that bell notification on to never miss a video and also be sure to drop a like and if this video gets to 10,000 likes I will do eating only rainbow food for 24 hours in the next food challenge. Anyways guys right now it is breakfast I am super hungry and I'm thinking for breakfast we can try to make some red pancakes with some bacon because bacon is red and hopefully find some kind of red drink. I'm trying to do what I have at home a little bit but I did go to the store to get some supplies which I'm going to insert here. I went to Walmart this morning and I got some red food. We're just going to get right on into making some red breakfast and hopefully it tastes good. Let's go. Okay guys, so I just made my breakfast and this is red pancakes with some strawberry syrup on top for some decoration with some butter and we also have our bacon. But we're going to try the pancakes. I put some syrup on there and I also added chocolate chips to try to make it kind of look like a watermelon because I thought that would be cute. Um, and yeah, they definitely do look pretty red so let's give it a try. Mm-hmm. That is really good. Okay, start of this food challenge. 10 out of 10. I like this. The chocolate chips and strawberry sauce are a really good mix for these pancakes. I love this. But of course, we have to have our bacon. Um, sadly, I didn't find any vegan bacon at Walmart, so I had to get this. Mmm. This is so good though. Mm, I haven't had normal bacon in forever. That is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I could deal with this. You know, breakfast is pretty good. By the way, breakfast is like my favorite meal of the day. Um, let me know in the comments. What's your guys' favorite meal of the day? But this red breakfast, 10 out of 10. Not so bad for the red food challenge to start with. All right, guys. So it's a little bit later and I already have a sweet tooth at like 10 a.m. in the morning. Don't ask me why. I, I just do, okay? Just roll with it. So I got these here and these are sweet tart rope cherry punch flavored. I, I don't know if I've had these before, but we're gonna give them a try and see how they are because they are red and it says two ropes is literally 120 calories. Well, that's a lot of calories for some candy. I literally can't open this. There we go. All right, I'm gonna take two rope. You can make a moustache out of them. Hello, it's me, a chef, how do you see? 20 out of 20. All right, let's see if these are actually good though, cause they, they look kind of strange, but I just wanna try candy, you know? Oh, I like this. It's really good, I like it. Uh-huh. I could eat this whole package, but that'll be really bad for me. I'm allowing myself to two. These are good. If you guys have not tried these, try these. I'm really good. 10 out of 10. This is good. All right, guys. Update. It's about lunchtime, and for the size of our lunch, we're going to be having these popables by Lay's, and it was red in a red bag. And these are supposed to be barbecue flavored. Hopefully, they look a little bit more red when I take them out of the packaging. I'm not sure, but they were red. Um, and I'm and also trying Kool Aid Jello, which I've never had before, and it's just in cherry flavor. And not only that, but I also have a pack of Kool-Aid in the cherry flavor. So I'm literally having the jello Kool-Aid and the actual drink um, cherry Kool-Aid. So hopefully these are good. And for our lovely main course, we've got Chef Boyardee. Do you guys remember those Chef Boyardee commercials growing up as a kid where like the can falls off the shelf and like follows you home? Not tonight, sweetie. You've had Chef every night this week. But I love Chef. Because, like, that was nostalgia. That was childhood. I used to love Chef Boyardee, but I actually haven't ate one of these in so long. Comment down below, do you guys like these? I actually forgot what they tasted like, so it will be refreshing to actually try the raviolis. I haven't had these in forever. I'm really excited. Let's start digging into our red lunch. All right, so this is the mini serving. It says this is 200 calories for just this little serving, so that's pretty crazy. Okay, ooh. It looks so watery. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me show you guys. Look how watery it looks. Oh no, I tripped it. <laughs> no, it's leaking on me. Why do I always spill things? I'm so glutzy. The phone is always ringing. Okay, so we're gonna try it and see how it is. Hopefully this is as good as I remember it being as a kid. All right, let's see here. Let's try some ravioli. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. 
This is still good. This still slaps. It's still good. I love this. Mm-hmm. Yep, 10 out of 10 on the Chef Boyardee. All right, pop time. I really hope that these look kind of red because they're supposed to be barbecue, so we'll find out. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, they do have a little hint of red to them. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they definitely do have red on them. Luckily, they're not spicy chips. I don't even like spicy foods, but... Mmm. Yo, these are a snack. I like these. If you guys haven't tried poppables, I recommend them. They're addicting. Kool-Aid Jello. I really hope this is gonna be good. Take a look at it, guys. Kool-Aid Jello. It is Jello Kool-Aid. I haven't had Jello in such a long time that I hope this doesn't disappoint me because I don't really remember ever actually liking Jello. Like in school lunch, they would give it to us. I'd be like, Ugh. like I would get it, but I wouldn't eat it. I'm not sure if I like it or I hate it, but I'm still gonna eat it because, you know, I can only eat red foods all day, so this is only one of the only red foods I have. It's, it's such a light flavor that I just don't know how to feel about it. But hopefully the Kool-Aid itself does not disappoint. This looks like vampire juice, like something that you would serve on Halloween if you're gonna be a vampire. I don't know what I'm saying. So I think you have to twist the top here to open it up. Yes, sir. Okay, that's how you open a Kool-Aid and it Looks cool. Mr. Kool-Aid Man time! Oh, yeah! All right, let's try this. I haven't had a Kool-Aid since I was little. This one's not as good as I remember it being either. There is not a lot of flavor in this Kool-Aid. Why, why is there not a lot of flavor? I just want to talk to Mr. Kool-Aid Man himself. Kool-Aid! It's very basic. I feel like I always like the blue Kool-Aid better. Now I am big sad. This was not, the cherry Kool-Aid was not what I expected it to be. And I have to drink this all day for 24 hours. All right guys, so for dinner, we're gonna try to be healthier. I know when I say try to be, it's, it's definitely a try to be for a reason. The only red dinner that I found in my house was this can of tomato soup by Campbell. And I can't even have a grilled cheese because grilled cheese is not, it's. It's not red. A can of soup for dinner. But I also have some more red chips to go with it. So this is kind of a weird combination. Don't judge. The red, and I have to eat red. So we got the red barbecue pop chips. These were the only red chips I found with barbecue flavored things. And tomato soup. And then we'll have dessert after this, which is going to be strawberry cake, which I'm actually really excited for. But yeah, we're gonna make our very odd dinner that I I'm not exactly excited about, but going to tolerate because we're gonna win this challenge. All right, guys, so I have my tomato, tomato soup, and it's very hot, and it's in a little mini bowl. I don't want to spill this this time, so we're not gonna mess that up. All right, this is this is the best red dinner ever. It's so healthy. Mm. It's actually not bad, though. Like, I, I hate most soups, but tomato soup is the one soup I do tolerate. I just wish I had a grilled cheese. I, I just want a grilled cheese to dip in this. I'm not gonna lie. It is good though. Now we got our dinner time chips, which are the barbecue pop chips. I think these are 130 calories per 20 chips, which not terrible, not bad. All right, let's try a pop chips. Mmm, okay pop chips, I see you. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These are really good. I'll need to try some pop chips. They are popping. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have a hard time not eating this whole bag of chips. We love our dinner Kool-Aid. So flavorous. Why didn't they add more flavor? Maybe it's just this specific batch. Maybe I'm being a Kool-Aid hater right now, but I seriously don't like it. All right, so it is dessert time. I'm so excited because I think I said it was strawberry cake, but I was wrong. This indeed is is uh, is the red velvet, super moist, super moist red velvet. And we're gonna be dyeing our strawberry icing to be red so we can make an entirely red dessert cake. And I'm excited because dessert is my favorite. I love anything with sugar in it, even though I really shouldn't and I should be going on a diet. But that's okay, you only live once. All right, let's get cooking. All right, so it is dessert time. I have my red velvet cake here and it looks a little less red than I suspected it to look, but that's okay. Pink is a shade of red, we tried. Let's try it out. It's pretty good. I love red velvet. The only thing I will say is I wish I had a cream cheese frosting instead of a strawberry, but I feel like cream cheese goes better with red velvet, but all in all, a really good way to end 
this challenge, guys. I love cake. <laughs> All right, guys. So in conclusion, honestly, eating red food for 24 hours was really not that bad. I mean, it was kind of difficult because there's not like a lot of red main dishes besides like tomato-based things. Um, but yeah, it was not so bad. I just don't like spicy foods, so I refrain from those. But let me know in the comments down below if I do a part three, I think, of this series or four. I think it'll be part four now. What color would you guys like me to eat for 24 hours? And also, if this video does get to 10,000 likes, I will do eating only rainbow food for 24 hours challenge as well. But yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like because it really does help me out a lot. Hit that subscribe button to join the arcade fam today and also leave a comment down below. And yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Eating rad food for only 24 hours challenge. It was actually pretty fun and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, arcade fam! So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.